Bubble frogs are one of the many new additions to Tears of the Kingdom. And when killed, they produce items called bubble gems. Bubble gems have one really good use, and that's to get special armor like the mystic armor and monster parts from Colton. If you're watching this video and you don't know where to use the bubble gems, I have a video that I will link right here as well as in the description that you can watch that explains how to start the quest, where you can use them, and how to use them. Bubble frogs are found in multiple caves scattered throughout Hyrule. They look like, well, frogs mixed with Satori and Bloopies. And if you've been playing for a while, you know that there are tons of caves in this game. So how in the world are you going to be able to get them all in such a big map in order to get the awesome stuff from Colton? That's exactly what we'll be covering in this video. What's super cool too is that this game included a special feature that can help you find all of these caves in Hyrule. To do this, you'll want to go to one of the eight cherry blossom trees scattered throughout Hyrule and put an apple in front of it. When you put an apple here, or really any fruit, I just use apples because they're so easily accessible, a Satori pops up. This Satori then scans the area for you, allowing you to see many blue pillars every everywhere ascending from the ground to the sky. What these blue pillars do is mark the surrounding caves so that you can see where they are a lot easier, as opposed to just mindlessly stumbling upon them. Note that these blue pillars do not last forever. They last around two to three in-game days. And that's really not long at all. So I recommend if you plan on doing this, setting aside some time just to do this specifically. It's nice that they last that long, but when you're traveling by foot in this game, time flies by so fast, as well as time flying by fast in real life as you play. The first cherry blossom tree location is just south of Hatino Village on Eben Mountain. The next cherry blossom tree is southwest of Zora's Domain on the Zoda Bond Highlands. The third one is northeast of Lookout Landing near Orsed Bridge. Number four is northeast of Korok Forest near Darunia Lake. The fifth one is southeast of Lake Halia right below the Guccini Plain. Number six is east of the Gerudo Canyon Skyview Tower. It's literally almost right in front of it. The seventh one is southwest of Rito Village on Passer Hill. Number eight is on Satori Mountain directly west of Sonapan Shrine. One super helpful tip I have is when the Satori shows you the locations, look at your map at the surrounding caves on your map. If you have already discovered a cave, it will create a small icon to show that you have discovered it. Additionally, it will show you whether you have completed it or not. If the cave is not complete but has been discovered, it will not show a check mark. Completing a cave just means you have killed the bubble frog inside. If you have been through the cave and have killed a bubble frog inside to get a bubble gem, the small cave icon will have a small check mark beside of it. So if you go to a cave marked by the Satori and the icon is there with a check mark beside of it, just leave it alone so you don't waste your time. Additionally to the Satori showing you these caves via the blue light, if you find a bloopy just running around outside, you can follow it and it will lead you to the inside of a cave. That's very helpful for hidden caves where you just can't seem to find the entrance. And if you don't know already, you can hit the bloopies and it will allow you to get some rupees that fall from it. You can always use extra rupees in this game. There's only one bubble frog per cave and they do not respawn ever. So once you have completed the cave by getting the bubble gem, it will remain complete forever. Doing this trick will allow you to find these caves so much easier rather than just stumbling upon them randomly, resulting in you getting way more bubble gems, which ultimately means you'll be able to get more of the items from Colton, especially that awesome mystic armor. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Be sure to check out these other Tears of the Kingdom videos I have here on the channel and subscribe if you haven't already. You guys have an amazing day and God bless.